Welcome to Tales from the Outdoor Show. We'll ride the crest of the waves as we search for angling action. With a focus on key techniques, you'll learn the simplest methods for success. So come with us on our next adventure on Tales from the Outdoor Show with your hosts, Brad Deckard and Captain Kevin Favor. What's our plan today, Kevin? You know, it's, uh, what's well, February 1st? Yeah. I mean, so it's, it's one of those days here in Northeast Florida, Brad, that, uh, you know, we're, we're gonna ease down the edge of this intercoastal and, and, and see if we can find these fish pushing on the edge of the intercoastal. All hey right. folks, welcome to another edition of Tales from the Outdoor Show. You kind of caught us there. We're, uh, we're talking about what we're gonna do today and, and it's incredible morning here on the first coast in Florida. We're gonna fish out of St. Augustine. And, and again, Brad, what we're gonna do is literally, we're just gonna run down the ditch. We're, right. we're not going to a specific spot and, and let's just see if we can find these, these big schools of reds. Look for some V's cutting in the water. Yep. Yep, 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 you know, and uh, fish for them a couple different ways. I'm gonna throw the Cajun Thunder. I love throwing that in front of those those reds, and, and maybe you throw a jig head. So. Throw a jig head with live shrimp. Yeah, I'm, I, okay. I'm, I'm, I love these mornings, bro. Oh, I, we, I mean, you know, you just look at it. There's there's no wind. It's glass. It's awesome. There's just barely a bump on the water. It's a beautiful morning in Northeast Florida. All right, folks, stay tuned right here for, from Tales from the Outdoor Show. We're gonna show you some red fishing action here momentarily. Let's go. That's oh, a yeah. redfish too. Good yeah, job. Buddy. Well, that's what we're doing. We're fishing, man. <laughs> oh yeah. They're right on that. They they stopped right on that hump, didn't they? Yep. Fish on. Fish on. What a beautiful morning we got here, fella. It is absolutely perfect. Pristine water and redfish. Doesn't get any better than this. Did uh, did our plan work or what, Brad? Yes, sir. I mean, yes, did, it uh, did. To the T. Drive down that bank of the intercoastal. Water's just barely got a ripple to it, and just look for the redfish to churn that V up. Yeah, good redfish. Don't let him go. We've seen you lose fish before. Awesome. Pretty red fish. Nice blue tail. Kevin, we're running down the intercoastal. Oh. We're, we're looking for these reds to move. What, what are you looking for? Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of times, you know, people think that that these fish will move with the tide, right? Um, and, and and they don't. There's there's little humps and 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 live bottom that they'll actually sit on. There's a fish right there, Brad. And and what they'll do is is you, you'll kind of you know spook them up, and 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 then once they start moving, they'll only move you know like generally speaking like 50, 75 yards, and then if you if you'll circle back around them, they'll they'll move back to where they were. So you can kind of hang in there with them. They won't, you know, they won't just move away, right? Um, unless you just keep putting a lot of pressure on them. Um, so, so when you see them like that, if you'll if you'll stick around that that you know 75 to 100 yard area, they'll, they'll, you can continue to catch them. If you look at if you look at like where these these creeks come out, right? Or at high tide, you know, there's there's a creek system that comes out, and a lot of times people will anchor up like right in front of that, that creek mouth sure. where that water's really screaming out. Right. But if you look where it slows down when the tide starts, when, when it comes out of the creeks, it, it actually builds a little hump. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. where the sediment and everything goes to the bottom right there. That, a lot of times that's where you want to fish. It's not right in, in front of that creek mouth. It's down Back 40 or 50 bit. yards. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. Nice. That's a, that's a better fish right there. Yeah. If that's a trout, that's a good one there, Brad. Beautiful. Look at that. Folks, it just does not get any better than that right there. That is, that is a beautiful fish right there. Look at that. <laughs> it could be a black drum. That's a good spot for black drum right there. 
Kind of bulldogging. Big sheep's head. <laughs> He's like, what? Yeah, I'm ready. I was born ready. Awesome. That's pretty fish. Beautiful. Look at that. Yeah. We don't need Captain Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get us off that spot. Yep, there you go. Nice pretty sheephead, really good eating folks. And these guys use those big chompers they have in the front there to, well, they usually use them to steal your bait. But they use them to break up barnacles and crustaceans on the bottom. But, uh, but these are great fighting fish and a lot of fun to eat. Hey folks, don't go anywhere. We got more fishing action with Tales from the Outdoors show right here in Northeast Florida. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, you're getting a workout, brother. That's a trout catching to the good one right there. Hey, cool. A couple little pop, 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 and they hang on there. If, if you will always find out about Brad and I, is Brad and I like to catch fish, period. Period. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's a 12 inch trout or 170 pound tarpon. We love to catch fish. Beautiful. Yeah, awesome, buddy. Good job. What a day. Yeehaw. Oh yeah. Parasitic worms that attach to them during the winter months. Thanks, buddy. Get him, Get him, Awesome. Following yours, too. See him following yours? Yeah. Oh, they're all right. yeah, I know. Oh, there's some big fish. Oh, look out, moving all in there, Brad. Look at all of a sudden. Yep. Eat it. Come on, it's right in his nose. Look, look, look. Oh, come on, you got to eat that. Oh, my God. Oh, there you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, my mine's has to be Oh, yeah. Look at that school of fish going down the bank. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. They're still all in oh, there. I'm nowhere near the boat yet. Oh, look out. There's just, there's, there's fish all in there. You can go back. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, yeah. It's good fish, man. Yeah. Right by his head. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful cast. 
Come on, please hit that. That was a perfect cast. He, he deserves that. <laughs> Bill, we may need a bigger net. <laughs> That's a big fish. That's a nice fish. That's a strong fish. Yeah, it is. That's a nice bender. The net's just barely big enough, Bill. <laughs> That's a beautiful redfish. Folks, it's February, and we are catching some fantastic redfish in Northeast Florida. Hey folks, stay tuned for some more red fishing action with Tales from the Outdoor Show. That's not a blue, that's not a red fish. It's gotta be a blue. Well, I don't know about that. No? I just figured it out. Yeah. Swim right at me. <laughs> usually don't swim right at the boat like that. You're right, he just figured out he's hooked. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. Well, I'm being a good guy, you were doing a phenomenal job, Captain. You just stay on that trolling motor. <laughs> That's a big fish. It's so unusual having him just run at the boat yeah. like he did. Man, it's a Brad Decker show kid. That is a big fish, man. That's, that's crazy how he did run a boat like that. Awesome. Kevin, me catching all these fish? Yeah. I'm always more fun with a friend to watch me do it. <laughs> <laughs> who, lo who loves you, brother? More of it. Wouldn't have it any other way, brother. Oh, I love red fishing this time of year. Oh my saying, I love red fishing any yeah, time of year. Say. It's just the fact that we can do it in February. It's fantastic. Isn't it amazing how big that fish is? You thought it was like a... A absolutely. Absolutely. When he ran at the boat, I thought, oh, bluefish just hit it on the way back to the boat. Catching redfish in February, my friends. That's a beautiful fish. Oh, right on top of where you threw up there. There's my captain right there. Nice upset, Ben. There's, there's quite a few fish laying right there, Brad. It's not a very big fish, but I'll take it. still be moving, you know? That's that, that's why you always come to this spot last. Yep. Yep, that's exactly right. Wow. Dude, Dude. that's a good fish. That's a nice fish. That's the one I just lost. Got my fish. It's the kind of guy I am, but... We're friends, we share. Hey, <laughs> buddy. Go to your left. Take him 
come back. Think I was they're in there oh, too. No, I, have no, no, I, there. No, I know you weren't going to quit fishing. That's always, again, the, the cool thing about fishing, especially like we keep talking about Northeast Florida. You pull up to a spot like this, and you know we expect to catch black drum and sheep's head simply because that's what's that's what the bottom is. It holds those types of fish, but then you throw in there and catch a beautiful speck. Let him go. Want me a sheep's head though. Hey folks, we've been fishing February, Intercoastal Waterway, Northeast Florida, an absolute picture perfect day. It's, al it's already 65 degrees, we're not even to midday yet. When we started out, it was just a bit cooler, but, but really comfortable, light jackets. We were coming up the Intercoastal Waterway, looking in very calm water, looking for movement of the fish, because it was just, just still as it can be, and we can actually see the, the swimming redfish leaving a V in the water chased the wake and uh, and cast right out in front of them. We had some really good luck with the redfish first thing this morning. Then what we found on some of these drop-offs as the tide finished going out was we found trout, sheephead, bluefish, had some really nice bottom action using a very simple rig that you'll see us fishing with most of the time. Just a small tippet on our main line as a leader with uh, a lead-headed jig head and a live shrimp presented uh, just very simply in a natural form. You get this into the water and in this really calm water, they really feel the movement of the shrimp as well as the movement of us dragging it across the bottom. That's what attracts the fish. They're not seeing it until right at the bite. And uh, we really had some nice luck today. Great fish, good red fish action. And hope you enjoyed the day today. Again, wonderful day in February, Northeast Florida. If you have the opportunity to come down and, uh, and fish with us here, please do. And as always, uh, take the kids fishing. You'll be a, a, an enjoyed person for it, and certainly the kids are going to have a great time, and they will always remember you for it. Have a great day, and folks, look forward to seeing you next week on Tales from the Outdoor Show. There's some good hook set folly going on right now, boy. It's ugly. Catch a trout. I'm setting the hook like it's a sheep's head <laughs> about to break their necks. <laughs> Usually on, on trout. Try to take it easy on them. Goodness. Cookie's cross side. <laughs> He's swimming back right now going, dead. Yeah. Wow, that shrimp had some oomph. Get him like a prize fight. Oh. Now you're swinging at me. I saw that. <laughs> no, I can not see where you were. Tell us what happened, Kevin. Well, it went like this. <laughs> the way I see it. Out of my way, you didn't let me. Do. It's a good thing I bought seven dozen shrimp. That's all I got to say. <laughs> it is, dude, I'm telling you. <sighs> yeah, baby. Oh, he pulled off. The worst part about that for you is now I'm going to cast that in your spot. Yeah, I hope you do. I hope you do. Oh, good. Just got a foul ball. Foul, foul tip that one. <laughs> oh, dead <God. laughs> Same spot. I mean, it's like as soon as it goes over that little hump right there.
Look at that, dude. I mean, I got stuff. I got a spider one. Looks like someone sprayed you down with silly string. <laughs> I'm a professional. That's pretty good at eating. <laughs> okay, let's see. But, the thing is, I'm a professional at getting this undone, too. Oh, I missed him. Dad, kill it. Dad, kill it. You gotta be kidding me. I swear, I thought you had It's a good it, thing that camera's on because I want to go blankety blank bleep bleep. Dad, gum it. Oh. I, I mean, I went to the back of the boat. I knew that fish was sitting back there on that little ledge. I tried to be all sneaky. All sneaky, all right. All right, here we go. Dad, Come on, hold your tongue right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Not my day. We'll see you next week for more angling action on Tales from the Outdoor Show.